It's almost expected that if you run, your feet are gonna hurt. And sometimes that pain can mean a big problem. Today, let's dive into one potential cause of foot pain, metatarsal stress fractures. Your metatarsals serve vital roles both for life and running. These five tiny bones help connect the back of your foot to the front of your foot. And every time your foot hits the ground when you run, they have to resist being bent backwards. Your metatarsals help form the arches of your foot, and they also help produce some stiffness that allows your foot to spring forward from one foot to the next when you're running. Now, if we progress our training too quickly, we can run into some problems with these metatarsal bones. Metatarsal stress fractures are very common, especially in the second, third, and fourth metatarsals. If we divide your metatarsals into a proximal and distal half, the proximal portion tends to be more stiff and rigid, while the distal portion tends to be a little bit more mobile. Now this discrepancy between stiffness and mobility causes a lot of strain in these bones. And that's likely why 90% of metatarsal stress fractures occur in the second, third, and fourth metatarsal. Most metatarsal stress fractures are low risk in nature. That means they have a high likelihood of healing without any need for surgery. These low risk fractures tend to show really good signs of healing within six to eight weeks and just need a progressive loading program before we get back into running. Unfortunately, there are two different places in your metatarsals that are considered high risk. Let's dive into those. Your second metatarsal is your longest metatarsal and is also a common site for muscular attachments. It also provides stability to your Lis Frank joint. The second metatarsal is a very common site for stress fractures. These injuries normally occur in the distal portion of the metatarsal, but they can also occur at the base. That's the top portion of the metatarsal right here. Luckily, this is much more common in dancers than in distance runners. Because of this bone's unique anatomy and the specific mechanism behind some of these injuries, you might need surgery for this injury. Let's dive into the second high-risk site, your fifth metatarsal. Your fifth metatarsal has very unique anatomy. Its more proximal portion is very stiff and rigid, while its more distal portion is very mobile. This discrepancy can be a problem when it comes to dealing with the demands of sports. The fifth metatarsal's unique anatomy, as well as the fact that it has a watershed area or a site of less blood supply, puts it at a higher risk for needing surgery to fully heal. These fifth metatarsal stress fractures tend to occur in three different zones. Zone one is the most proximal site that often gets injured with an avulsion fracture. Zone two occurs at the metaphysial diaphyseal junction and is commonly referred to as a Jones fracture. And zone three occurs at the proximal diaphysis and is the most common location for fifth metatarsal stress fractures. 